So it's the same thing with having a blog versus your company website. So your personal pages are your personal pages. You have maybe family interactions, you know, you share things that you in your own personal capacity like. From a business point of view, it's really a professional platform. So I see a lot of small to medium companies that tend to share political stuff. No, it's a no-no. Don't share anything political, religious, you know, all of those type of things. Keep away from your professional business pages. So sharing good information about your products is fantastic. If you may be um, sharing quotes, if you find something that's very inspirational, that's in line with your business, sharing something like that is great. So you've just got to keep in mind that it is a professional business profile and people are going to build a brand identity from looking at that. So how do you really want your brand to be seen online? Yes, of course. So when you start out on your social media platforms as, let's just say, a starter app business, you would set up your social media platforms, you would engage with them, you would maybe only use Facebook to start off with. Once you start getting used to Facebook and you start seeing the type of engagement that's happening in Facebook, you can go, you know what, I'm going to try Twitter a little bit. And then you move on to Twitter, see if it works for your company, maybe try Instagram. Obviously you on LinkedIn because that's one of the most important things to get your business on LinkedIn from a professional point of view. But as your company grows, your social media need is going to grow. So either you're going to outsource your social media to a marketing company or a specialized social media company, or you're actually going to hire somebody in-house to start doing your social media because it is a 24-7 job.